Uh, we got them yesterday. They got us today, and I think tomorrow will be a great game. And uh, both teams really playing hard to win. So be happy to take questions. Daniel seemed like you came in and kind of settled everything down. I think you gave up one long ball. Just how tough are they to get through, especially the way they manufacture runs? Um, I mean, it's not tough. Uh, you just got to come in when you're in the pen. You just got to come in and do your job. And throw strikes, and you throw strikes, you get people out. And I mean, that's all I got to say really about that. George, how do you feel like you did? Um, I was just really excited to finally um, be able to get on the field. I think far from happy about with the result, obviously, but um, it was just nice to finally get back onto the field. What was their pitching doing that was, I guess, so frustrating for you guys offensively? Um, I think they, they were just pounding the zone, and we just weren't, weren't getting our swings off as much. And I think we just got to stay a little more disciplined, and we'll get them after it. We'll get off them tomorrow. For both of you guys, this has been the situation the past three years. When the first one dropped this one here and then try to get the third one, hadn't gone your way the past three. What's the mentality got to be for tomorrow, especially going back home with Reed on the mound? George, you can go first. Um, obviously, we just got to move on from today. It's a new game. We got Reed on the mound, so uh, everyone's got his, we've got, we've got his back, so um, we know he'll put in his best stuff. So we just got to look forward to tomorrow and um, move on from today. Yeah, back up what he says. Tomorrow's a new day. We forget about this. this um, Reed's our guy. Reed is, we got his back no matter what, and we're planning on beating him. I mean, that's all. What point I seen you guys struggle with runners on base? I mean, you had, I think the first seven in you had leadoff guy on, I think, five times. Yeah. Yeah, that that was a difference in the game. They did they did a better job, especially with two outs of getting the big hit. And you've got to credit the other team's pitchers. You had two guys out there that were ninety five plus uh, for Clemson, so they made pitches and and we didn't today. That was the bottom line. How deflating was that six inning for you guys having the bases loaded with no one out and only getting one? Yeah, deflating is, is probably too strong a term. I mean, there's one inning. You you have a lot of more innings left at, at that point, but. Obviously, when in a game that's going back and forth like that, we scored multiple innings, they scored multiple innings. You know, you, you want to get more than that when you have the bases loaded. Mark, you guys did very well yesterday, keeping them honest on the base pass, making sure they couldn't go. Today, I think uh, maybe they got the better of you. Just what, uh, what was the, the biggest change? The biggest change was the pitchers that threw today were not as sharp as the guys that threw yesterday. Uh, a lot of balls in the dirt. Uh, Barry Hill can only do so much back there. You know, our pitchers need to help them, and when they're sharp and, and throwing their breaking balls in good spots, obviously we have success. And, you know, there's a lot of balls in the dirt today. He, he blocked most of them, um, but we just, to me, that was that was yeah, the, the guys yesterday were a little bit sharper than the guys today. Update on Carmen. Uh, same as yesterday. With the bullpen, I guess they were pretty solid through the first, I guess, nine games. Just what did you see out of them today? Was it the fact that they just weren't being able to pound the zone as they usually have? Yeah, they just weren't quite as sharp. You know, Coyne got a lot of balls up, um, and they and they damaged it, you know. Uh, Daniel was, was pretty good today. Four strikeouts to one walk um, in two innings. We'll take that. Uh, Lehman w was, was solid. Um, Cole came in there and, you know, a little uneven, and then TJ was good at the end. So, um, just early in the game, we put ourselves in a little bit of a hole with, with Dylan and, and Parker, uh, giving up the, the seven runs there. I guess in the sixth, you pinch hit Quentin for, for Jordan there. Just what was the thinking? And was there a Jordan thought? for Quentin. Jordan for Quentin, right. Um, what was the thinking there? Was there a thought of sending Quentin out to see if Clemson was going to change pitchers there? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's a, it's a chess match at that point. You know, it's lefty there, so lefty versus Quentin. I didn't like the matchup compared to righty coming in to face Holiday, who could have tied the game with one swing at that point. So, you know, it's it's they waited for us to to uh, to send the guy up there like you're supposed to do, and once they did, it was a righty righty matchup. But we had the time run at the plate. I, I liked our chances there better than uh, their lefty versus a lefty that probably will hit a single. Mark, if it came to it, could Carey go again tomorrow? Maybe in between Reed and, and uh, assumedly Sawyer. Kind of yeah, you never know. You never know. We'll see. Um, it's very early in the season, so we're not going to put our guys in any harm's way. Um, but we'll we'll evaluate. We'll see how he feels. We'll talk to we'll talk to uh, you know. I'll talk to Skyler, and, and and we'll meet about that as a staff. Every time your team scored, Clemson came back and scored runs. How challenging is it for your guys to get a foothold in the game when you can't seem to chip away at the lead? Yeah, if you're going to win, when you score, the other team needs to get a zero the next inning. And uh, we've done that eight of the ten games this year for the most part. So um, just need to do a better job of that tomorrow. George, can you describe a, uh, the difficulty of facing a guy that's six foot eight? I mean, that's so much more taller than the average pitcher and obviously bringing it up there in, in mid-90s with his fastball. 
So, I mean, it wasn't wasn't easy, but I mean, it's all the same. We've, we've faced velocity before, and we practice a lot off the machine, so we're used to it. And I mean, I think you got to give credit to the pitchers, but uh, to their pitchers, uh, we got to we got to do a bit better challenging them. A little bit more of a challenge of picking it up off a long strider that's got that kind of height with um, the long, long leg kick, big arms, long arms. I, I honestly didn't find it too difficult, uh, as in like. It wasn't too much of a change from what we faced earlier, so. Any else for that, Coach?